So I've just taken a concentricity measurement out of plane, which required me to establish a reference axis using this diameter here as my datum A surface. And now that I have that established, I can take another concentricity measurement, or I can take um, a perpendicularity measurement using that same uh, datum and reference axis that I've already established. So I'm going to move up and come over to this face of this flange and bring it on scale. Make sure again that I am on scale and not in any interruptions. And now I'm going to select perpendicularity. And it tells me that a reference axis was found and the date and time, and I know that's the one that I established. And so I am going to accept that, and it's asking me for the radius, which is on the scale down here on the horizontal, and that is 1.675. Enter that, and I can put in, the part name is already saved because I'm on the same reference axis, and I can put in a comment. I can change from top to bottom, and it is on the top surface of that, so I'm going to apply that and use the motor. Now just like all the other measurements, this is going to give me a flatness value uh, of this surface as well as the TIR, and then it's also going to give me the perpendicularity relative to the, the datum axis that I established, and it's going to give me the data points of each of those. So I have a perpendicularity of 5 tenths, 62 millionths, and up here it gives me information about this point, the TIR of it, uh, the flatness of it is, is 2 tenths, 80 millionths, perpendicularity and the high point of that perpendicularity, as well as the plane run out and the vector direction. And that's plotted here. Uh, I can go back and retake that measurement without having to do a lot of other steps. Uh, and I'll show you that. Just go back, reapply here. The information is still the same because I'm on the same location. Use the motor. And again, it's going to take one more trace. This whole software is developed so that you're not stuck in queues, and if you have some bad data, you can go back and take that, retake that until you're confident that it's good data, and not having to go back out and reestablish the reference axis uh, for that. I'm still seeing the same spike I had. I'm still getting about five tenths perpendicularity, uh, and all the other values are, are similar to what I had before. So I'm confident that that is what the part is, and I can finish that.